Welcome to the video. In this video I'd like to give you a very quick look at the frame that we're going to be using for our Pix Racer build. Now the Pix Racer series is underway. Here's our Pix Racer. It's actually embedded in here. It's actually a 3D printed uh, frame that we've got it in just to help me mount it. Uh, this is available on Thingiverse if you are interested. But we need a frame that's going to allow us to mount everything and have enough room. Even though it is a small board, because I want to add the GPS and the power distribution unit out the way and everything else, I still need something with a bit more room than a 250 quad. So one of the things that we've got our hands on is one of these things here. And I need to say a very big thank you to T-Drones for supplying this for the series, because this I think is gonna do the job beautifully. We've got a couple of boxes here. I'll show you the smaller one first. It'll give you an idea of how big the actual frame is. This is a plastic cover. Not sure whether or not we're going to use this on top of the drone, as I like my drones to look mean and moody, but uh, this is kind of a plastic cover, which provides a little bit of, uh, of protection and should also make it look a little bit nicer in the sky. As you can see on the web page, uh, with it actually built like this, it does fit quite well, but I want to see how it all goes together before we use that. The second part of the system is all in here, and to get it out of the box is really tricky because it is absolutely beautifully packed. So you have to uh, pull on it, it's one of those boxes that is made to such fine tolerances. So if the quad is as good as the box, then we'll be in for a treat. So once you've got the top off, then this is what the inside looks like. You have uh, one set of propellers, you have a cover for the motors with two holes to get into, then you have another layer with another set of propellers and also the four arms for the model. And the arms themselves, I don't think it's metal, but it's a very, very stiff plastic. It has um, T motors, which if the camera's picking that up, 2205, 2000 kV at the at the end. They look like decent motors actually. They, uh, they feel really nice. Um, we have LEDs in the bottom. So we have green and we also have red LEDs. So we have two of each. The ESC is on here. It's a 15 amp ESC. It doesn't include a battery limit circuit, but it does have um, bullet connectors that they've actually used to put everything together, which is lovely because it means that swapping things out isn't going to be a nightmare. Uh, then once you're past this layer, let me put that bit out, then we have another one, which those are the other propellers. Here is the layer that has things like the landing gear and also the support struts as well. So this is the kind of landing gear that's part of it. You can see the packaging is really good. It's like taking something apart that come from Apple. And then the bottom of the box, we have all of the connectors and bits. And then we have the top plate, which doesn't have a power distribution board in it. We have the manual, which shows how it all goes together uh, in Chinese on one side and in English on the other and then finally have the bottom plate that does have a power distribution board as well and hopefully you can kind of see the size of the model as we're going to put it together so it's going to be a reasonable size and what we should be able to do hopefully is be able to install the Pixhawk, the power distribution board and everything and have lots of room left over. So I just wanted to give you a good quick look at this frame. Uh, thanks again to T-Drones for sending it through. And in the next video in the series uh, for the Pix Racer, we'll be putting this all together, putting the Pix Racer on and starting the configuration. So thank you again to both T-Motors and the guys at uflyshop.com for helping us get our hands on this frame for the series. Great news is that the uflyshop.com guys are actually offering a 10% discount to anyone that is a subscriber to the channel. So if you enter 
Painless 360 at the checkout. So if you go at the moment to youflyshop.com, it'll take you to this website, the Morgan Perspective website. This is about to be rebranded to youflyshop.com, so don't worry about that. If you order the frame from here as part of the checkout, when you come to that bit, put in Painless 360, and then you'll get a 10% discount. The other breaking news as well is the guys have just explained that for orders in the European Union, the product will actually ship from Ireland, which is great news. It means that it's shipping from inside the EU. We don't have to worry about all that import tax stuff. And also shipping should be a bit faster for us in the EU too. So thanks for watching the video. Next video, what we'll do is take the Pix Racer and this frame and start putting it all together and starting to configure the board using Q Ground Control. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless 360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.